Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, anybody that was having cocktails during the late 80s, early 90s, I'm sure ran across a drink called the Lemon Drop. Now, the Lemon Drop is a vodka cocktail, and vodka plays an extremely important role in this drink. Matter of fact, it makes the drink. These days, if you order a Lemon Drop quite often, it'll have vodka, lemon juice, a triple sec of some sort, um, however, that really isn't a lemon drop cocktail. Uh, the lemon drop cocktail was designed to taste like uh, the lemon drop candies, which are simply citric acid and sugar, and that's all they are. And so you want a drink that reflects that flavor. Sure, maybe adding triple sec to it might make it a better tasting drink in some people's minds, more rounder, more flavor complexity going on, but it doesn't make a lemon drop cocktail. So we're going to see a real lemon drop cocktail and what it takes to make it. We're going to start off with a um, citron flavored vodka, Absolute. Uh, one of the things I like, um, Absolute can either come in the, in the large sizes or the small sizes. There's so many different flavored vodkas out there that if you're buying all the different flavored vodkas in the large sizes, your bar just gets full of all these bottles. By using the small bottles, you can take and save some space and still have access to the different flavors you might possibly need. We're going to add an ounce and a half of the uh, Citron Absolute. We're then going to add three quarter of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Never, ever, ever use sour mix. Yes, if you look up the uh, lemon drop cocktail quite often, you'll see sour mix listed as ingredient. Don't use it. Uh, the reason they're doing that is the lemon drop cocktail has become so popular that they're trying to dumb down the recipe and make it as simple, easy, and cheap to make as possible. Use fresh ingredients whenever possible. So always use fresh lemon juice. And to that, we're adding about a teaspoon of granulated sugar. I'm using the fine granulated baker sugar, caster sugar. I could use simple syrup instead, but since the lemon drop candy has always had that kind of that sugar coating on the outside, I think this kind of adds that little teeny bit of grit when all the sugar doesn't quite get fully dissolved to help remind you of the candy that its namesake is. And of course, since we used lemon juice in this, the drink's already going to be cloudy, so there's nothing we can do to prevent that. So we're going to go ahead and shake it with ice. We want to make sure we shake it well. You can see already the, the granulated sugar is sitting here. It's not dissolved. And ice water is not going to dissolve sugar as well as hot water is going to. So we need to shake it for a little bit longer than normal to make sure all the sugar gets as dissolved as possible. Strain that into our glass. Now, many times you'll see this stirred, strained into a sugar-rimmed glass. That was the glass style that, that was popularized in the, in the 90s. Um, I personally don't like the sugar rim on the glass because anytime there's any moisture whatsoever on the outside of the glass, the sugar will actually drip down the glass and your fingers just get sticky. And I, I just don't like that. I'd rather have the sugar in the drink rather than on the surface of the glass. Now we're going to take and add more to that lemon flavor just by adding a lemon twist to the top of it. This basically gives us three layers of lemon flavor. One from the, uh, the Citron Vodka, which has a lemon flavor to it already. One from the lemon juice and one from the lemon oils from the peel itself. And so this really is, has a nice little bit of complexity and flavor to it that you wouldn't get if all you're using was lemon juice for the lemon flavor. So it's very important to make sure you're using the Citron Vodka. And there we have the Lemon Drop Cocktail made with Citron Vodka.